Hi, this is Vijay Kumar. I am from Naresh Technologies. And in today's session, I am going to talk about reports. So, how to create reports, what is a report and how to create reports. Just reporting means simply you can say displaying data. Okay. So, creating reports means what for you create reports to display the data. So, we use some tools for creating reports. Like if you take Oracle database, we can we can use SQL plus to display the data. You go to SQL plus you run a query selector from EMP and that query displays the data. Okay. A simple tool for displaying the data is SQL plus. But when we can display the data using SQL plus, so why reporting tools are used? Like there are some number of reporting tools available in the market. One is uh, D2K, very old tool D2K. In D2K, D2K comes with two tools, one is form builder, another one report builder. So, in D2K we can use report builder to create reports and there are uh, some tools like BI publisher, XML, XML uh, BI publisher, next another one uh, there are number of reporting tools like OBI, so Cognos, BO, ClickView, there are various tools available for reporting. But when we can display data using SQL plus why we need to create reports then? The question is, so we can display but thing is we cannot format. In SQL plus we can simply only display the data but formatting is difficult. Uh, formatting in the sense like adding colors. For example, suppose here my requirement is like this. If the salary is 3000, I want to display blue color. If above 3000, I want to display green color. If uh, below 3000, I want to show it in red color. So, that is difficult in SQL plus. That is not possible in SQL plus. But the reporting tools, it is easy. So, we have a conditional formatting. Uh, using that conditional formatting, we can do that in reporting tools. But whereas, it is it's not possible in SQL plus. Okay, then. So, here in this session, so, we will see how to create reports using report builder. So, I am using a report builder. So, in report builder, we can create reports in two ways. One using wizard and another one manually. There are two methods to create reports, one using wizard, another one manually. So, first we will see how to create reports using wizard, next we will see manually. So, I am selecting the first option. So, what is this first option is manual, sorry, wizard. The first one is using wizard and the second one is manually. I am selecting the first one and click OK, click OK. And so, the report wizard is open, simply say next. So, using report builder, we can create different types of reports. One is tablet. One is form like, mailing label, form letter, group left, group above, matrix, matrix with group. So, the different types of reports we can create using report builder. So, and this, these reports are used for different cases, different scenarios. So, first we will see tablet and form like. Next we will see the remaining. So, when we use tablet, we use tablet when you want to display multiple records. So, the database table contains number of records, you want to display multiple records, then we will go for tabular type. You want to display single record, then we go for form like. For multiple rows, go for tabular, for single row, go for form like. So, now I select tabular, click next. So, what it is asking is, it is asking SQL statement, okay, then. So, you have to write a query to get the data from database table. 
So, it is asking the SQL select statement. So, here there are two options SQL statement express query. If the data is there in uh, relational database table, then select SQL statement. If the data is there in um, cube like MDB multi dimensional databases, then select express query. Data is there in table relational table, select SQL statement. If it is there in cube, select express query. So, I am selecting SQL statement click next. Now, enter the now enter the query. So, what is that query is? I want to display in in I want to create a report in that report I want to display employees data. So, I am I am writing a query employee number employee name job salary from EMP. So, I do not want to display all the data I want to display only numbers name job salaries. So, I am writing a query then click next. So, it is asking the username and password. So, this you, are, you want to display the data from EMP, but where is this EMP table? It is there in Oracle database which user? So, the user is Scott and what is the password is Tiger and what is the database is ORCL. So, I want to display employees table data. It is there in Oracle database which user? User Scott and the password is Tiger database is ORCL click connect. So, it is connected and also what it is showing is it is showing the uh, list of fields in EMP table. So, it is showing the list of fields in EMP table employee number name job salary and which fields you want to add it to the report. I want to add all these fields to the report then click this one. So, all these fields are added to the report and click next. So, do you want to calculate any sum, max, min, average, count? No. Then click next. So, it is showing the list of fields and the labels and the width allocated for each field. Simply click next. So, it is showing the, the predefined templates from this predefined templates and which template you want to use you can select. So, if you select the corporate one, so the template will be like this corporate to template will be like this confidential heading, confidential background and cyan grid. So, suppose here I am selecting corporate to that. So, click next and click finish. So, when you click finish the report is created. It is simple creating report in using report builder. And so, the report is created and after creating this report, after creating this report, you can send this report to the printer. You can send this report to the printer or you can send this report to the mail. So, you can send this report to the PDF like this. Okay. Then, so here you click this button to send the report to the printer and you click this one to send the report to the mail or later if you want to view this report you can save this as RDF file. Okay. I want to I want to save this report for future reference then save this as RDF file just go to file and select what to save then I am selecting this I am selecting this in some suppose for example, C drive or D drive then I am saving this as then some file name. Okay, report 1, report 1 and this is saved as RDF dot RDF. So, what is this dot RDF report definition file then select save. Okay. So, this is how you create a simple report in uh, D2K using report builder, but the report we created this report is called tabular report. So, that shows multiple rows, but I want to create a, a form like report. So, to display single row, okay. then I, I want to create a form like report, then I am selecting this uh, report wizard, okay. so then it will show the uh, like list of reports available from this you select form like next, then here also you write statement, what that statement is, what do you want to display in the report, 
I want to display suppose I am selecting the query select star from EMP, but this query returns all the fields ok. Again it is asking the username password Scott Tiger database is RCL click connect then. So, but query returns all the fields, but which fields you want to include in the report? I want to include employee number, select employee number, add it to the report. I want to display e name, I want to display job, I want to display salary, I want to display height date that is all. So, these are the fields I want to display in the report. The query returns all fields, but which fields you want to add it to the report? So, select the fields and add it to this one. Next. So, do you want to calculate any sum max min? No. Then click this next and click next. So, select the template. I am selecting the template like this. Then, so, selecting this template and click next and click finish. And the report is created. See this here, it is showing, uh, it is showing the first record. So, what I said form like reports will display row by row. So, tabular reports displays all rows at a time, but the form like report displays single row ok. So, thank you, thank you for watching this video. For more videos subscribe to Naresh IT. Thank you.